Okay. So I got a new toy for my birthday. This is... I don't want to go lower. This is a knitting machine. I have a couple other ones. Now if you want, you can hand crank this. But, this one has a motor. Um, got a plug in. Which will... If I can show you. So we plug it in right there. Green light comes on. Oh, I can't see the green light. Now you can do flat panel. Or you can do circular. I wish it had a C or a T, so I'm hoping it's going the right way. Okay, a little tension here for the yarn. And then my brother put this row counter on there. And you just turn it on. And then as you... There's the black ones. Now we'll run it around, you'll see. That's good. I don't know where the black needles are. They gotta be coming up here. They come. Okay. I can go backwards and it'll just count. Because this row counter, a lot of people, the counters go out on these knitting machines. So you got a magnet. You can see it. Magnet. And then this. And then I can just reset this. There. And I can turn this off. Now this is just, this here is hot glued on here. I think. I think that's what he did. Now, anybody who does the circular knitting with the Addy, the Central, the Jamit, this is called a Jamit, I guess. Anyways, you always have to roll your work up. Well, I went and got a cheap table from the Walmart, those TV trays, and I had my brother to cut a hole in it. So this way, I don't have to roll up the yarn. It'll just drop down through. I'll have, I'll put a bag under there later on, and it'll just go into the bag. If the item I'm making is that big. Um, what can you make on these? You can make slippers and uh, scarves and hats and mittens. Um, I've never tried the mittens. I've never tried the slippers. I will at some point, just not right now. Uh, I do hat and mittens. Now, someone might say that this is some kind of cheating knitting. No. These have been around for a long time. And furthermore, when you go buy your hat and scarf at the store, how do you think it was made? It was made on a bigger knitting machine at a factory. So, there you go. So, I'm going to get this set up. My phone holder doesn't work, so I can't really show you how I... Basically, what you do with the yarn is, to start with, you go in and out, you weave it in and out every other peg. We'll see if I come closer to the end if I can show you what I'm talking about. Alright, hang on. Alright, let me see if I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. I'll take this off, light off. Well, maybe we need the light. Okay. So... What we need to do is, see I'm going into that one, behind, into this needle, then behind, and then I'll come back to the first needle. So you kind of weave it, you know, you go, um, and then I'll put it in my starting peg, which is this one, and I want it to grab this one. Now I've never used this one. It's the first time I've used this machine. So let me see if I can get it down in there. And then you got to figure out what tension you want. Um, of course, I got to get that in there. This looks good, maybe. I don't want it too tight. But yet again, I don't want it too loose. Maybe that one looks good. Now I just want to make sure that that's down. Alright, now let me give it a couple of cranks. Make sure it's grabbing. I'll put it is. Alright. 
Now, instead of me cranking and cranking and cranking this, I know, I know that I'm going to need a total of 120 rows for a particular half. So we're going to do, it's going to be two-sided. So I'm going to do my first one in this green and the next one in a yellowish. So here's to seeing how it works. My brother assures me that it works. So let's turn it on. I hear it's kind of loud, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what happens here. Oh, 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 oh. My yarn is getting too tight. And it dropped right there. See, you got to really pay attention. See, it dropped all, it dropped all these spaces. Since I just started up, I started over. I got to put my yarn somewhere else so that it pulls out easily and stuff. Uh, that's one thing you don't want to drop, drop stitches. Or maybe it didn't drop. This is my, oh, it looks like it's picking up. It just got tight in that one spot. Uh, where's my yarn? So, see, it already went around once. Um, well, okay. Maybe it didn't drop yet. I'm trying to look. Because every other... So that one... That, okay. Well, let's keep going once and see what happens. I'll just pull this yarn out and see what we got here. I'm nervous. I'm seeing this as well as I am. So with my other hand, I'm just pulling the yarn so that it doesn't get snagged up or whatever. Once you get so much out of it, it just pulls out nicely by itself. So, the story behind this was, I'm going to stop this for a second. Oh, look how nice it, oh, it looks like it's knitting pretty good. I had seen this, well, like I said, I have other um, machines like this. I loom knit, I, um, I loom knit. I crochet and I do this um, there's a lot of things you can make on this and especially you know people that have like some kind of disability or can't you know use use your I don't know your arms so well or whatever or your hand gets tired your hand gets tired cranking and cranking and cranking you know just yeah, it gets tired this is really cool. I'm surprised. They, they make adapters for the other ones, and then you use a drill, which I think that's just going to ruin, you know, it's going to ruin the machine, because it goes too fast. So, I'm definitely, so far, liking this. Um, like I said, my, my yarn will dip down into the hole, which is what I wanted to do. The never-ending, the black hole. Um, well... I'm going to keep doing it. I know the machine is a smidge bit loud, so I'm going to do like, I think six, yeah, 60 rows of this color, and then I'll switch it to the yellow. Now, it's going to be a double thickness hat, so. Now, I've made it on the other machines, and I've crocheted them. Um, but hey, sometimes you just want to kick back and relax. Um, you have to pay attention to the machine. But, like I said, I'll show you again. So instead of me turning that crank, and it looks like it's catching everything, I'm going to pick up a little higher. And the little corner's working fine. So we went to eight. Now it should go to nine. Oh, the roll corner is working perfectly. I keep wanting to stick on everything. Okay, well, let me see how long this takes, and then, uh... 
when I'm done, I'll show you what I got. Stay tuned. Okay, so I got to row 60. I gotta get to 120. Now what I did is I, let's see, cut the green yarn. Now, remember I started on that middle black peg by because I don't know, because I wanted to. So, I want to make sure that this green is behind this black peg that's going to grab it. And then I set my yellow up, put it in the yarn feeder. So it's going to start, I'm just going to start it by hand. Because I want to make sure that this needle grabs that yarn. I need for this needle to grab that. So let's see if it's going to. Oh, it surely did not. Okay, I gotta do something. All right, hang on a second, y'all. Okay, so, let's see, so I got it grabbing it, the next one I'm going to grab, okay, so I'll let it go around a few times, I'm going to make sure I got my yarn over here, so hopefully it'll, I'll just hold it with my feet for now, so it'll come straight up. That doesn't touch on anything. Huh? Is it grabbing? Yeah. Yeah, it's grabbing. I just want to make sure. After a couple of rolls, I'll go in and I'll tie the green and the yellow together. There we go. Now I just got to get to 120. And then I'll take it off. Seems to be working pretty good. Saving my arm. You can see the hat is starting to go through the center of the table that is cut out for me. And this way it won't twist and everything and I don't have to roll it up on itself. So, I've so, done a few rolls. Once it comes back, I'm going to stop it because I want to tie that. So, you want to tie these two together, you know, kind of so it keeps the tension, so to speak. What happened here? Okay. So, let me do that and I'll come back when this is done. Okay, so... I joined these two together. I just made a couple of knots in here and stuff, you know, so it doesn't fall apart. And you want to keep about the same amount of tension that's going around in all of this. But I do think, did I drop a stitch right there? I think I dropped this. I think it looks like I dropped a stitch right there. Well, it's not the end of the world. It can be fixed, but yeah. Looks like I dropped one right there. Darn it. I should have stopped it, but oh well. Alright, let's see what it looks like in the end. I just wanted to show ya. See how nice it goes down in the middle? I don't have to roll anything up. It's just going around nicely. And like I said, if it was to reach the floor, I would put it in a bag and just let it touch it. So I'm up to 80 rows. And, uh, Boy, this is really saving on my arm right now. I'm still going to use the other ones. I'm not going to use the electric one all the time. 
but I thought it was a cool little sign. Oh, it looks to me like everything is going right. We're up to 100. I need 20 more rolls. But I'm using my feet as my yarn holder. That's what we do. So I feel like getting the other thing I use out. Like I said, this is really saving on my arms. Quick and easy to do. I mean, I'm going to make a matching scarf at some point for this. Um, but it's going to be a double thickness layer hat with a brim. So, in theory, it's going to fit an adult. We'll see if I use the right tension. Okay, as you can see, I'm at row 120. Um, this thing is only being held on by Velcro because um, we didn't want to hot glue it because this is battery operated. So um, if I got to change the batteries, I need to be able to take it off. Now, here's my middle black peg. That's the one where I started, so that's where I want to end. This is where I'll start taking the. I'll be taking this off the machine. See if I can get it off the darning needle and show you a little bit, kind of how it take how you take it off. Hang on. Okay, so this is what the hat looks like. Um, it's reversible. I can see some of the yellow through it. Uh, that was a looser stitch, so that's all right. But it's reversible. So you got the green and the gold here. So how long it is. Or you flip it this way, and you got green. If I can do this one-handed, and or you got the gold and the green double thickness no I don't make all my hats like this most of them I either loom knit or hand crochet um, but the machine is really cool it was uh, uh, it's my it's my combo gift it is uh, my birthday slash Christmas present um, really, I wasn't expecting it. I was going to save up and get it. But anyways, um, worked up pretty good. I think I'd try to do a little bit tighter stitch next time just to see what it does. But it looks, it's nice. It's really nice. Hmm. Yeah, I just have to work on maybe making it just a smidge bit tighter. This one's a little bit looser, but I want to. I'll make another one and see what it works, how it works using a different tension and stuff. And uh, this one's pretty stretchy. This would for sure fit a man. Um, so yeah, I make these hats. I'm gonna get a bunch made up, then I'm gonna sell them and stuff. So just why not? Why not? So, worked out good anyways. Well, thanks for watching.